how much of what you said there to Bret Hart was in your own words? Was were you responsible wholly for the promo that you you cut there? Everything that comes out of my mouth is one hundred and ten percent authentic. That's the difference between me and every single one of these have been losers that try to be competent, try to be anywhere near as good as me. Uh, I'm never going to have some schmuck writer walk up to me and be like, uh, MJF, I had this idea, you know. Uh, no. I, I, would, I would rip the paper up, chew on it, and spit it in his face. I don't need help being me because I am the only me. I'm the only MJF there ever has been or there ever will be. There will never be anybody like me ever again. Uh, that is because, like I said before, I am authentic. Nothing about me is, is a, I'm not portraying anyone. I'm just going out there and being myself, which means automatically, right off the whip, I'm being better than everyone else you're seeing on your screen. You did come up a little bit short in the Casino Battle Royal. I mean, do you feel any kind of constant? Nope, okay. nope, nope. That is, that is fake news. That is, that is absolutely not what happened. What happened was is I threw Hangman Page over the top rope, uh, and his feet hit the floor. The camera didn't catch that by the way. I'm having my lawyers look into it right now. He then hopped back up to the apron, hit a buck shot when clearly I'd already won the match, and then threw me over the top rope. Now, I don't know about you, man, but that sounds pretty illegal to me. Doesn't that sound a little illegal to you? Just real quick. I, I mean, if, if it is on the surface how you describe, you certainly have a cause for complaint, I would think. Yeah, yeah, doy. Uh, but let's, let's pretend that's not what happened, even though obviously it is, because Hangman Page couldn't beat me. Uh, if I had both my arms tied behind my back, let's say that's not what happened. That is what I would like to call a fluke. That is a fluke victory. Uh, everybody gets lucky every now and then. Uh, you hear about the turtle and the hare. You know, you got this stupid, slow turtle that has absolutely no right being in a race with the athletic, amazing hare, the bunny rat, if you will. And somehow the tortoise wins. I'll tell you why the tortoise won. It was a freaking fluke. The only reason why Hayes and Page won is because of a fluke victory. He's got a bum knee. I mean, this guy's obviously not going to be able to beat Chris Jericho. If he was intelligent, he would have relinquished his title shot to me so I can give the world an amazing first inaugural AEW World Heavyweight Champion. But now instead, we have to watch a guy who proclaims to be a horse, yippee, try to fight for our title? I mean, it makes me sick to my stomach. Do you do you think that there would be good cause here for Adam Page to put that championship opportunity on the line in a match against you at some point then? I mean, 150 million percent, yep. Kind of a stupid question. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Nick. My name is Nick, yes. How is it? Oh, all right. Look, Ned, I, I, I appreciate the fact that you're trying your best here with uh, your journalistic integrity, but I think you and I both know that, yes, he absolutely should put that up for grabs for me because I am the person who should be in the match in the first place. I mean, come on. 